welcome to BBC News. My name is Mason Lee Hendry and today I'll be talking to you about Brexit. On the 23rd of June 2016, the country took the time to vote and when the results came in, it was confirmed that the country would be leaving the EU. Ever since then, there have been a lot of discussions regarding the subject and it has been leaving the country wondering what will happen next. Before we can go any further, we should look into why the referendum occurred. There were many factors that initiated the vote. These included the economy, immigration, laws and taxes. By leaving the EU, we will no longer have to pay money to Brussels, the European Commission or foreign aid. Although this can help the country save money, we do have to pay a bill and honour our current obligations. The terms of immigration, we have more control of the people we accept into our country. The EU and UK are also discussing about this topic and how people are living in European countries should not be affected by this rule, but both sides have different thoughts on the subject. Our laws will be affected by the fact that we can make our own laws and have them passed by our own courts. This will allow us to form a better country and tackle larger problems. Finally, this will allow the UK to set their own taxes, meaning we'll be able to service this all to all types of people and help them with money situations. The four reasons listed above are help the UK, giving us more freedom over our ruling and help tackle eco economic issues. This will also help the UK to tackle problems in a way that what is, that is different from what before. Although these may seem like rather good ideas, there was a lot of disagreement between the votes, and some people have even regretted their initial vote. This has led to controversy and anger towards Brexit throughout the UK. So, what are your views on Brexit? Well, Brexit, I think, is going to be quite a difficult subject for as country to actually deal with. Um, we are going to be losing a lot of our colleagues from Europe who do a lot of the jobs that uh, we don't like to do ourselves. Um, we have, we've already got companies that are reducing their um, capabilities because they can't get staff. We have colleagues in um, the school who are from Europe and we don't want that to affect um, them being over here and teaching you, affecting your learning because we rely on them as well. The UK is to build a new chemical weapons defence centre to protect itself from what it says is the growing threat from Russia and North Korea. Defence Secretary Gary Williamson will announce the £48 million facility will be located at the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory in Porton Down. Scientists at the Wiltshire Lab helped to identify the nerve agent used to attack ex-Russian spy Sergei Skripkul. Thousands of British troops are also to be vaccinated against anthrax. In a speech on Thursday, Mr Williamson said that the shocking and reckless attack on Mr Scripcoe and his daughter illustrated the increasing dangers the UK faced from chemical weapons. The UK is expelling 23 Russian diplomats and taking a range of other measures in response to what is said was the Russian state's culpability for the use of military-grade nerve agents on the duo in Salisbury. Almost two dozen school shootings have already occurred in America since the beginning of 2018. Counting all the shootings from last year, the mass number would be 346. As retaliation to the mass number of their peers who were unfortunately murdered, students of Florida have been protesting for a law change. The schools allowed the students to have a 17 minute break for everyone killed during the school shooting last month. The students that were targeted hugged and shared moments on the sports field to commemorate all the lost friends and the fact that they had survived. Hello, my name is Kitty Pearce. A yellow warning for rain off parts of England have been issued from Wednesday the 14th of March, 12 o'clock, until the early uh, hours of morning, Thursday the 15th of March. This could also affect public transport, so it is recommended that you plan ahead for your journey. Higher southeast winds also prove an additional hazard, with delays for higher sided vehicles on exposed roads, routes. In Scotland, there will be lows of 6 degrees Celsius moving on south England, reaching highs of 12. During this weekend it's going to be cloudy and it's going to be a nice start of the week with Monday looking nice and sunny.